Ladies and gentlemen, introducing our 2019 California Wrestling Hall of Fame inductee, Mr. Cody Olsen. His presenters, Bella Vista Wrestling alumni, teammate Mr. Kenny Goodrow. Cody Olson wrestled at Fallon, Nevada High School, where he placed fifth, second, and first in the Nevada State Championships. His Nevada overall high school record was 140 wins and 20 defeats. Cody then moved to Bella Vista High School for his senior year and wrestled for coach Charlie Lee. Cody placed third at the CIF State Tournament and with an impressive record of 51-1 and one to cap off his senior year. After high school, Cody then wrestled at the University of Nebraska as a scholarship athlete. He won the Big 8 Championship, was team captain, and was a two-time NC2A qualifier. Once Cody finished wrestling, he went into officiating. Cody is one of the top wrestling officials in the country. He has officiated the NC2A Division I Championship three times, the NC2A Division II Tournament, and the NWCA All-Star Duel four times. In addition, Cody has officiated most of the major high school and college tournaments in the United States, including the Lone Star Duels 11 times, the Reno College Tournament of Champions 19 times, the Las Vegas Open 20 times, the State Community College Tournament five times, and as well as the State Tournament and numerous others. Furthermore, he has served as the assigner of officials for the Northern California Wrestling Coaches and Officials Association for the past 19 years. Ladies and gentlemen, inducted in the 2019 California Wrestling Hall of Fame, Mr. Cody Olsen. As most people have said, I'd really, I'm really humbled and, and grateful by the board and the committee to even consider me for the Hall of Fame. It's, it's a wonderful experience and by the reaction of the crowd, it's amazing. It's, it's incredible to stand up here. I'd like to thank my beautiful wife, Kristen. She's been so supportive over the years. She's delivered me to the airport so many times, too many to count, in the morning, picked me up with the dogs in tow. And uh, when I'm leaving for local events, I've kissed her, and kissed her goodbye and said, I'm off to rid the world of stalling one call at a time. <laughs> and hopefully I've done that. Uh, as a child, I was, I, was, uh, I was never coddled, but always supported and encouraged by my parents. Uh, my parents always made certain I had opportunities, whether it was being able to earn enough money to go to the Von Hitchcock and the Iowa intensive camps, going to the national tournaments, etc. Towards the end of my junior year of high school, I was fortunate enough to get the opportunity uh, to uh, move from Fallon, Nevada and, and move uh, to the Bella Vista and get, get the Bella Vista experience. I got to wrestle with Dave Lee, Ken Gaudreau, Jerry Peterson. David and Jerry, they beat the hell out of me. Oh my God. Um, but by doing that, it made me tough, and it, it enabled me to, uh, to go on and do some of the things that I was able to do. I'd like to thank my, my beautiful sister. She, uh, she got to go to all the wrestling tournaments, not any of the fun vacations. <laughs> oh, well. Sorry. Um, I, I would really like to thank my junior high wrestling coaches. They're the ones that, that helped support me and actually give me guidance related to wrestling. There was Ted Workman and Dave Loomis. Um, I wrote them a letter several years ago, and it was very important to me to let them know how much they helped me. Uh, so I, I wanted to thank them for the support for me, but not only me, but the hundreds of, and, and thousands of kids' lives that they affected. It, it was just a wonderful, wonderful experience me, for me. They taught me that I'm not perfect. Sometimes I will get beat, but to come back stronger than I, and work hard. Uh, sometimes life isn't fair. Sometimes you won't know all the answers, and sometimes you just need to go out and find out, talk to other people that know more than you do, and, and learn, learn from them. Uh, it helped give me the foundation and the toughness to make it through high school and in life in general. Thank you very much, Mr. and Mrs. Loomis, Mr. and Mrs. Workman. Mr. Workman passed away last year. It was, it was really frustrating. Coach Lee, David Lee, Mrs. Lee. Oh, my God. That was a, the Bella Vista experience was one of the most incredible times of my life. It was ha, so much fun. It was, it was life changing, difficult to put into words. A uh, small kid from Fall, Nevada, and uh, to be involved with that, 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 that time and, and how powerful that team was and the friendships that we developed. I mean, my friend Jerry Peterson came from Connecticut to see us tonight. Ah, how, how wonderful. Um, Let's see. So these, these people are uh, Jerry Peterson, Ken Gaudreau, Todd Gaston, Tracy Yates, Rich Lynn, Sam Tishner, Mr. Tishner, Mike Whiting, Mike Mahon, Danny Tennant, Tony Kitchen, Casey Nolan, and many more. It was really, really a wonderful experience. Coach Newman, my, my wrestling coach from the University of Nebraska, came out 
and oh my God, I, I, he recruited me uh, from a tournament in Woodland, and, and then Coach Fears recruited me from the state tournament. He came out to see David, and I was fortunate enough to be the next weight, and they liked what they saw, and they needed a, a, somebody to replace Jim Shear. Unfortunately, I was not quite as good as Jim Shear. He was a national champ and Olympic, made the 88 Olympic team. But I got to fight for five years and, and was fortunate enough to be his first Big 8 champion. God, I really wish I'd been his first national champ. Son of a gun. You still you, you fight as hard as you can. Um, he, he and I had a routine. Every night after practice, unless it was a competition night, we would go 10 takedowns. And I remember getting to six once. So, I mean, we... A lot of blood, a lot of sweat, a lot of tears, and, and man, it was a wonderful experience in my life. So, um, thank you very much for coming, Coach. I really wish I'd been your national champ. King Gaudreau, my best friend. Uh, Ken helped, helped move me to, uh, from the Bay Area down to Sacramento, and he told me that I was either going to be a coach or I was going to be a referee. I didn't have enough time to uh, coach, so I decided I was going to be a referee. When I first showed up for the first meeting, I didn't realize we got paid. Wow. I had no idea, no, no concept of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of, of doing a state tournament or a national tournament. Just went out and tried to do my best. And fortunately, a couple years in, I was able to do the state tournament. Uh, fortunate enough to, to officiate uh, several, you know, many, many NCAA tournaments, etc. cetera. Um, the first tournament that I officiated with Kenny, he was a coach at a, at a, it was a junior high tournament, and uh, he started talking about my grandmother, and I actually asked him to leave. <laughs> first, pers first coach that uh, I did ask to leave. Um, he, after a few years, decided that he was going to become official, and, and since then he's done 15 NCAA, or 15 NCAA tournaments. He's done 15 CIF tournaments, and uh, five or six uh, Pac-12 tournaments has done, done a wonderful job. Uh, when I first started, uh, my mentor, Monty Muller, I am proud to call myself his protege. My goal as an official for the last 25 years is to, it, it, is to be considered half as good as Monty is. If I'm considered half as good as he is, I've done a wonderful job. He's been a, a great person. Um, we've had so many memorable trips, experiences together, and if you'd like some of the inside dirt, catch me afterwards with a beer. <laughs> Again, just wonderful, wonderful experiences. Uh, my goals have always been to have the best seat in the house, do the best job that I know how to do, and get invited back to a tournament. I've been fortunate to work three Division Twos or three Division One ones D2 tournament, four All-Star matches, and I have so many wonderful memories from so many different uh, different people there. The many officials have made a big impact on, on helping me. Ron Marquez took numerous pages of notes. Uh, Lynn Dyke, Dwayne Morgan, Bob Cooley, Fred Ayers, Jack Everett, Matt Wynn, Kenny Ritchie, Pat Fitzgerald, Scott Hall, Fred Ambrose, Ross Thomas, Dino White, Jerry Middleton, Matt Zeitz. These are all outstanding officials that have done state tournaments, NCAA tournaments, and they've all affected me. Um, my friends and family uh, know uh, my friends and family that know me and uh, know that I'm not around in the fall and in the spring. Thank you so very much for your support. You know, I've missed many birthdays and, and many events, and God bless. I, I just, I really appreciate everything. Uh, in closing, thank you the, for the California Wrestling Hall of Fame for including me. I am proud of the past. I look forward to the future and what it will hold, and I'm humbled on this honor. Thank you so very much. God bless. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Cody Olson.